Hey everyone and welcome back. So I've started to share a couple of videos on LogSeq just because I found it to be a very useful tool in my personal knowledge management arsenal and also just for managing things at work and personal life and everything. So it's, it's all in there. And I started on this journey in September last year and I think like many people who came to LogSeq, I started with Rome Research and I think the team at Rome did an incredible job and now a lot of uh, people have followed their, their lead and there's a lot of alternatives out there and come December I uh, started looking around a little bit and I think the main reason that I started to do that was because of cost but you'll see here in my seven reasons that I addressed that last because it shouldn't be the most important thing and I actually believe that if you have the means it's good to contribute to open source initiatives so just a disclaimer as well I'm in no way is affiliated with the LogSeq team I saw that there were a whole bunch of subscribers that came because uh, they posted one of my videos on Twitter, so I'm super grateful to them for that, but uh, they don't pay me, I'm not incentivized in any way. I'm just doing this out of my own free will because I really enjoy the software and it's another way that I can contribute to the open source community by hopefully bringing in some people into the fold. So uh, with that all being said, I just wanna jump into the seven reasons why I really like LogSeq. So the first reason is ease of use. So if I just open it up, um, Rome, you have to, you know, create a profile and, you know, same with Athens. I actually haven't done that, the whole Athens thing. The other option, Foam, uses VS Code and um, Obsidian is a little bit more of a learning curve. So LogSeq is incredibly easy to configure. I can do it as we go right now. Uh, if I just open a new browser and I go to logseek.com, then I scroll down, it gives me a little introduction and um, then I can say open a local directory and then I can let me just go to my desktop and I go to you know, a new folder here, demo and bam, I am ready to go and off to the races. I There's a couple of other videos that I'll link to, some some great videos by Santi Younger and Tech with Ed. So have a look at those. I'll, I'll link to them in the description below. So that's the first reason, just super simple to configure and um, yeah, very, very user friendly. The next point is on notes ownership. So your notes are stored in accessible markdown or org mode formats. So it's .md files and it's actually stored on your local machine. So you get to determine where you want to keep your notes. Do you want to keep them local? Do you want to keep them in the cloud? I keep mine in Google Drive. I find that to be very useful. And if you really know what you're doing, you can use GitHub. I don't. So um, yeah. And what that means is that you know you own your own notes. And because they're in text files, there's also longevity to that. So you're not relying on a subscription model to keep you or to, to keep access to your notes. If you are on Rome, I, I think you can export your notes. I, I believe there's an option to do that so um, it's not the end of the world but it's nice just to have that that longevity as well built in okay this next one is just the vibe of it so I if you don't know the reference there's a movie called the castle very funny Australian movie and they talk about the Constitution and it's just the vibe of it so I think the log seek you know energy is just a, a cool people doing great work there's there's a lack of ego there's no fluffy agenda you know the the rome team have done an amazing job the athens team have also done an amazing job but it feels like there's a little bit of like beef between the two so yeah and 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 they're not selling you know the logsy team aren't selling like a new internet or anything it's just simple lack of fluff and you know great great work that brings us to the speed of development the speed of development is super fast like the responsiveness to users on the discord forum is so impressive like there's been requests for namespaces and a whole bunch of other things which i probably don't even understand and bug fixes are like ridiculously quick and everything's still in alpha so you know there's there's a major refactoring underway i think as we speak yeah lots of development is happening and it's just encouraging to see how much they are able to do in such a short space of time it, it really is mind-boggling um, so that brings us to the community. It, it really is a welcoming Discord forum. Um, lots of great discussion and, and interactions and questions and answers. Uh, I don't know what the etiquette is of posting um, 
people's usernames on 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 Discord or from Discord, so I won't do that. But Santi Younger and Tech with Ed have um, YouTube channels, so I'll, I'll link to their their YouTube channels. Really cool people, just like seem very down to earth, and yeah, it's it's a, it's a really really great place where you can just ask questions. I think I was a little bit intimidated of Discord, um, you know, and not being a technical person by definition or not being a coder um, or a gamer or any of that. But when I went there, it just felt very welcoming and, you know, there's no, there's no reason to be afraid to ask questions. So very cool community. So that was a good time to scroll down. Um, so yeah, that, those are the two people that I was referring to. I'll link to their, their YouTube channels below. And then that brings us to cost. So I think that is the main reason that I decided to look around for other options because $15 a month is quite expensive. Um, and although it's providing value, I, I believe that there was you know other options that might be able to provide as much value, if not more, for a lower price. And being open source, LogSeekers is, is free, but I, I have chosen to, to pay for them. As I said, I'm not, you know, in no way is affiliated with LogSeek, but I just believe in paying for paying for value that, that you create. I think uh, you know this the internet has sort of given us the default mode of just expecting everything to be free and I think it's actually nice just to, to pay for it. So be part of the team. And yeah, so as I said, Rome was, was fifteen dollars a month. Uh, Athens were offering a three dollars per month package. And they say it could increase to the same price as Rome. So, you know, again, just on the, like the vibe of it, it feels like it's very much like a copy paste of, of Rome. And, you know, they really are taking a lot of their, their lead from Rome. Um, and the, the LogSeq team is open about this. Like, the, you know, Rome Research has been a massive inspiration. This is on their, their open collective page where, you know, they, they, where you can go and, and sponsor them. So another nice thing is you can just see exactly what the expenses are and it's very transparent, super nice way of just engaging as well. And just to, just to compare this, I mean, I saw the other day that Athens got $1.9 million seed round by, led by Venture Capital. And I just thought, geez, if, if, if Athens gets this, if, if Logseed got that amount of money, what they would do, I, I don't know, like could, could hire everyone for, Know, really maybe design this new internet that is uh, included in the copy of this email anyways so that's just my personal opinion I like to 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 give to things that I believe in or that have added value to my life so the last point is just the super cool graph on uh, on LogSeq I just love the graph What's happening? yeah and there's you know, really not much to say about it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show my personal graph but I'm gonna make it fuzzy. How do I do that? And this is the amazing knowledge graph. And I mean, the same thing is available, I believe on, on Obsidian and, and Rome, but I just really like playing with uh, LogSeek's one. So the graph just shows the, the, the connections of your thoughts and it's a really cool way to to move around between thoughts and I really would encourage you to just play around with it, have a look, zoom in, zoom out, click around, lots of fun. Um, okay, cool, so so that's me. I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you so much. Uh, by principle, I'm not gonna be asking people to subscribe, but if you if you feel like it, you know, by all means go ahead. Thanks so much to the LogSeek team for, for pointing to my videos. Uh, this won't be only a LogSeq channel, but it is definitely the foundation for a lot of the ways that I'm working going forward. So hopefully I'll build some videos specifically for LogSeq. Cool. Cheers.